Hey guys, happy Sunday to you all. Welcome back to Say With Me, Shosli Me, where you get the gist. As it is, do waiting. As it is hot. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly post right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? As it a hurt. So, guys. Hmm. Actually, today is Sunday. And we all know what Sunday is in Biggie's house. It meant some of the housemates will pack their kaya, their property, and go home. Today. We all really hope that the jury will actually work in our favor this time around because a whole lot that we just don't need to be seeing again. Forget that this is a game. This one again, no go sweet if this person no day, blah, blah, blah. Guys, for the mental health of we, the viewers, and the housemates, I think there are some persons that need to go. You know, like Doyin said earlier, she said she, when Doyin was having a conversation with Pere and Cece, she was like, I hope three people would leave this Sunday. And Cece told her that it is because of you are not up, that is why you're saying this. And she was like, no, she has three people in mind. In as much as yes, I know that that's, that, um, what she said is kind of insensitive to people who, who are up. You understand? But at the same time, these guys, their mental health is really at stake. For Doyin to have said that they are not saving this house if EK is still in the house. Now make it this boy not just wake up one day, come meet us for bed, smash him face. <laughs> and then they will give and strike, they will disqualify and react. But by the way, don't do it in one by that time, person face don't damage. When she said that in the thing rang on my head, I'm like, hey, this girl is saying the truth to Big Brother need to do something. Anyways, that aside, um, don't you have a conversation with Perry? You know, Pere was trying to, you know, say his own part of everything that happened, trying to make the story sweet so that he no go look too bad that he's trying to do whatever he was doing to Ilebae. And then they now went to meet Ilebae in the kitchen because Ilebae was she no go she Ilebae no go um club. Jen Zibadi did not go to club yet. She get, got tipsy. I don't know who gave her one or two drinks. That girl really has a light brain. That the best thing that would be good for her is just to avoid alcohol. I don't know how I gave her one or two drinks because some of the housemates had something to drink. And then she started, you know, talking tofro, 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 you know, started saying, started reacting to some words. And Soma was like, please be guided, do not say anything. She wanted to still drink from Soma's cup, Soma no gram. Soma was actually preparing noodles, you know, for himself and her. And maybe, I think, few, maybe Pere or so. So while in the kitchen, after they had that conversation with um Pere, Doina went to meet Ilebae. Oh, Ilebae was even calling her when she passed. Was like, Doina, come and hug me. Now come and hug me. I'm not gonna, going to hug me. Hug me. <laughs> so Doina later came back. And Doina pulled her aside and said, Please, I am begging you with everything, you know, you desire. Do not make sure you avoid EK in any which way. That guy is not really okay. This was how Doina was telling Ilebae this thing. That guy is not really okay. That EK is not okay. That the kind of displaying that that guy is doing, that guy is not okay at all. You know, then, and she was like, you said, find every way to avoid EK and the guy at our back. I don't know the guy she was referring to, you know. And then, Ilebae was like, of course she knows that even her too, she needs to be careful. Then he said, yeah, so she should not be problem. She's not tipsy, that she's careful. Then, um... As they finish discussing that, I'm doing out with Ilebae that she feels that Ilebae should have a conversation with um Pere. That the problem was that Pere was pissed about um Ilebae calling him a, a puppet, a puppet or whatever, you know, like a puppet master, but whatever did he call her. I'm not, I don't get, you know, and it's them named Venita calls doing, and Pere, that was the narrative Pere sells to doing. That was the reason why he reacted the way he did. You know, it's for him looking for reason to justify why he did what he did. He did what he did because it's a game for him. You know, all this one are just to cover talk. Then, Ilebae was like, no, that she's not going to talk to Pere. That she's not ever going to talk to Pere, you know. Somebody I called, because she was she was already displaying the kitchen to Soma. Somebody I called daddy. Somebody I think this thing, you know. She was like, Soma, if it is you, you know, I would not be pissed because I know that, yes, we are not close. Soma was like, oh, we're not close. And are they cooking dummy for you? <laughs> She was like, no, you don't understand what I mean. You know, blah, blah, blah. So Doyin actually spoke to her. And when Doyin left, guys, when Doyin left, it was Ilebae and, you know, Soma. Then Soma has finished cooking. 
Then as they were eating at the dining, Somana told it because Somana pr- promised Inebaye to tell her something. Guys, something that I was scared of that I don't want Inebaye to know so that it will not affect what she's going through in the house right now. Guess what? The pardon me thingy. Soma was like, I want to tell you something because I want you to be very careful about something, blah, 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 you know, about doing. Then Inebaye now said, please tell me, please tell me. Somana said, no, I will tell you when you're sober, not when you're drunk or when you're tipsy ilebaye was begging ilebaye swore with her family name she, she said my family are so precious to me my siblings are so precious to me but i swear with you i'm not going to confront anybody i'm not going to do this with anybody i'm not going to do this with anybody and then soma was like when you are soma was still insisting not to tell um ilebaye anything ilebaye was like, i will not confront anybody i'm saying oh gen z body no that's how she say but his body <laughs> so guys oh, you know Soma was not insisting, Ilebaye was insisting, begging Soma, even crying. Soma was like, what, wait a bit, wait a bit. She was like, no, nothing, don't worry. She was not eating her noodles. Soma was like, the thing is, I just, it's not something bad, though, but it's something I just need you to be careful of. She, Soma now started again, do you know that there are some people that care about you in this house, but they don't really show it? Ilebaye said, I know. Do you know that there are some people that claim to care about you, but they don't like you? Ilebaye said, I know that. Ilebaye now said, the thing with me and doing is that, we are not close here, yeah? but it's because of we are from the same season in the house. So I think she's somebody I can, you know, be be with. Not like I trust her, everything, blah, blah. So she was trying to say everything to make Soma spill. Guys, Soma was about to say something. The camera went on commercial break. And Big Brother, whatever is it called, they went on commercial break. I'm like, what? Have you guys noticed something of late? When an interesting convo is going on, not the camera guys or whatever would remove it. Is either they mute the mic or they remove... I don't know what their aim is. I do not know. If we reviewers cannot get a huge... As in the complete of what is happening, then what is the need? Why giving us big, half big story? They now went on commercial break. The commercial break returning, it was still on Soma and then um, Ilebae. But what Ilebae was now saying like is, okay, no problem. Like, as if Soma has told her the thing already. She was like, no problem, it's fine, don't worry. You understand? Soma was at the verge of telling Ilebaye that thing was like, it's not about that she did something, she, something she did. She when he wants to start saying it, they went on commercial. This they see this big broad multi-choice and their wahala and they should be very careful with us, the viewers. Though. So guys, now the question is, did Soma tell Ilebaye that thing or not? Because he was almost close to telling her before they went to commercial. Now, coming back, the reaction by it was giving was not different from what she was giving previously. Previously, she was giving the reaction of, please tell me. But after the commercial, she was giving the reaction of, no, Wahala, I don't hear you. You know, go hear him. You know, that kind of reaction. That was what she was giving. So, obviously, it's given that maybe Bai has heard about the pardon me thinking. Now, the question is, how would Bai be looking at um, doing right now? Is she going to be looking at her with the same eyes she was looking at her way? Now, that is the question. That is the question right now. To me, I do not want that their friendship to, you know, go sour or something. Because I feel till tomorrow, Doyin is one housemate that had that girl back. No matter how many narrative I've been seeing on the social space, painting Doyin to be this and that. She might be doing over her assets, but I think she liked that girl to an extent. That's what me I feel. And you guys should not make her likeness to Ilebae will make her not forfeit her own game. It is not done now. It is not done. When we they, when we they analyze, they check. Make we they use our head soon. All right, that aside though, guys, Sheyi, I do not know what came over that guy. Like on the social space right now, everybody is quite disappointed with that guy. I do not know if he took alcohol more than the ways he does in previous uh, days or weekends. Because Sheyi is one guy that you would always see with alcohol, even on Nari days. He's having it. So I think he has, he has strong head for drinks. But yesterday reaction, what this guy was saying, even people... Who, who was proud of, you know, saving him, I mean the juries, came on the social space and said, no, I can't condone this behavior. I'm referring to Mike. Sheyi said things that, on a normal, he wouldn't have said it. First off, Sheyi came for Alex. Alex, that is his padio. Alex hissed because of their having maybe disagreement. Alex just hissed to go. She said, Alex, you can't hiss on me. Alex, you can't hiss on Omo. Ike was holding Sheya and was like, calm down. Alice was like, the negative energy in the house is too much. Because why? Sheya will be talking about this, talking about that. The, the kind of detestive... Oh, guys, I just don't know. I just don't know what this guy, the problem this guy had with women. Why he just hates women. For somebody that do not like women to come and... How did he not get married? How in wife they cope? 
Do you know after Soma finished eating that, discussing with Lebaye and went to the garden, Soma um, Seyisti brought a Lebaye topic again. I was like, look at little girl. Because of you can bend over, over to, to suck D. You understand? That's why you think you can, you know, you can talk to me anyhow because of you can suck prick. And all of that, I'm like, hey, what is all of this thing? You know, it came at anybody. Like for him to have come to for Kid Wire, he came, Alex too. Don't hiss at me. I am not your mate. Don't hiss at me. Madam, don't hiss at me. Guys, <laughs> that aside though. So after Ile Baye finished, Ile Baye was with white money, was crying white money that she wants to go and pee before she would go to bed. You know, on holding white money, white money was like, let me go, go follow you pee. Which one they carry me into the bathroom? She was like, no, 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 just wait for me here. White money sat on this chair in the dressing room and wait for Ile Baye. Ile Baye finished peeing and joined him. And they were having a conversation. White money was telling Ile Baye that, if I ever see you talk to Perry, you will have me to contend with because that what that guy did, you know, really, really shocked me. Because for him to have done that, that means that he has not changed from my season. I was quite disappointed in that guy. Blah, 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 blah. You know, Lebay was like, no, I'm not even ever going to talk to him. I'm not ever going to talk to him, you know. But finally, currently, what money have discussed with Perry and still tell Perry that he was really mad at Perry or what Perry did, you understand? And then Perre tend to explain everything to him and he was like, oh, he never saw it in that light. But that he never saw that the girl was coming for him, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, this one, I cover up. You guys know that Perre F up. Um, no matter the explanation that he gave, not just the, just the cover up. So that aside, let's go back to this conversation. While, while um, White Money was discussing with Ile Baye, you know, Soma came to the picture, was touching his clothes and all of that, and they were just laughing. And then Ile Baye was holding White Money, let's go to bed, let's go to bed. Then Sheyi don't come. When Sheyi came, Sheyi started blabbing again. Ilebae was dragging white money up. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Then Soma was like, Gen Z buddy, what is your problem? Can't you see that he's talking to people? Why do you not want him to go to bed? You understand? Sheyi now started talking about Ilebae in her front there. Was saying, Sheyi, you see, oh, say this small girl. Say white money, I respect you. You're a titled man. You're a traditional man. I will never I will never disrespect you. If you even tell me to sit down right now, I will sit down. And I say, Chai, this one, don't, don't go. He said, go, 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 gone. What is all this one? If you tell me to sit down right now, I will sit down. You're one person I respect in this house. Yeah, this one. White money was just saying, yes, yes, I know, I know. Because I might not say the guy don't don't go, you don't die, don't drink. You know? So Ilebaya was still dragging him. So let's go to bed, you know. Then she was talking about Ilebaya, like, this small girl. We'll be saying if I slap now, she go get herself inside on any like blah blah blah. So white money was that telling she calm down, calm down. Oh, um, or Modenia, he spoke it in Yoruba to Sheyi because Sheyi was speaking right when he was like, Oh, Modenia, or Moden, that she's a child. You understand? He lived by in her God peace and said, Why, when did you just call me a child? Now, let's write money. And she went to the room, she went to the room, you know. Then she was like, Look at this girl, he was just saying a whole lot of trash about Ile by a guys. Look at what she said. She said that, Hey, or um, more, how would I even say this? And he said that him, his kid. He would actually get a guest room for his kid on where they will be on his for his son and his friend where they will be you know having a, having time with ladies that they would have actually they put out like it was like they would run train on ladies guys do you know what that thing means <laughs> don't worry people actually went to google it google is your friend people were quite disappointed with what was coming out of his mouth you were saying that about your own son you were saying that about your own son oh no that your son, you will train him in a way that they would, you know, do ladies anyhow they like. That they would run train on them. Meaning that gang, that, meaning a group of guys will own lady. That is what this guy is just saying here. Then tell me, now, can you help me define, can you give me the definition of a beast? Can you just give me a definition? That who Sheyi is. We are talking about Ike Ike, but you see Sheyi, oh no, 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 it's one house one needs to be worried about. Because I don't know how he coped with his family. It is how he tend to talk down on women, tend to say a lot. Next thing he will say, my queen. Thank God for my queen. Is that guy really a human being? Is that guy really human? Even yesterday he was like, yes, he do not have money like fraud and mercy. But yes, he has his own money. He has little that some of them, they, whether he said um, um, fraud has a club or whatever did he say, that in a night billionaire might come, they will make like 50 million, 20 million. But him, in the production sets, doesn't get up to that, that he maintained his family the way he could. That guy just disgraced himself, blah, 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 on the floor. Like he rubbed himself on the potter potter. I hope when he leaves today, because definitely she must leave today in Jesus' name, amen. Thank God, today is Sunday. This is my prayer, my earnest prayer. This guy is going. You know, he said everything, guys. 
I hope he will come back home and watch it. He spoiled his last, last day. I am telling you. I am telling you guys. Anyways, um, don't talk too much. I don't even really talk too much. Let's go to the social space so that you would see how both Mike, who was the person that saved him, you know, reacted and see what some people are saying about she. Let's just go. Now, this is the meaning of the word he said. Read it yourself. I'm not going to read it out. Coming from Big Brother on Censor, this is what Sheyi said his son and his friends would do to people's daughter. They are going to complete it yourself, guys. See what papa talk. See what person father talk. Just look at it. Just look at it. Read it yourself. I'm not going to just read it out at all. Look at what so that is the meaning. You can as well go to um to yourself, go to Google and go and read it and check what it is to run train on on somebody or whatever on ladies. You know? I don't know. I don't know was it the alcohol just that is his personality because nobody today she don't they talk down on women. Nobody today. If you can be sincere because most of you or some some people some people do not really have sense so i just saw somebody telling me that i should leave ek alone like if other people come and tell me that i should leave their faith alone you two will be proud to tell me to leave ek alone <laughs> almost some people know they use their head i'm telling you anyways actually why would i say some people know they use their head? some people are actually like this in real life is it because you are watching these people's behavior here some people have this kind of behavior in fact most of them are on the social space commenting I beg, look at what Mike said. Mike said, I don't condone this behavior. And then Kofo replied him and said, if you had if you had money for hotel the night he accommodated you, we won't be here. Best comment on the thread. Exactly, that's the truth. If he has money for, for to lodge, he will not see this thing that he said, Oh, she saved me when I needed when I couldn't get a flight. He saved me, accommodates me. Coming from Chizzy Francis, I literally don't understand Sheyi these days. Miss Nigeria and I say, don't worry, Sheyi is going home tonight. Whether he is going home tonight or not, all I know is they will definitely drag him out of that house. Because this is no longer funny. Hey? How would you get tipsy? And next, you know, you'll be doing is um, talking, saying, using vow words, saying things about ladies, and I don't understand. And you say you marry wife, and you say you get mama, you have a mother. Ha! These individuals at I am Bisola, at Ares, that is Mike, Ares is Mike, at Islaikon, at Diana Edobo, at the Dorati Bacho, enabled, encouraged, and continue to brag about their choice on social media. They brought us to they brought us to this point, and I am glad you all now get to see how wicked and <clears throat> they are. Abio honestly didn't believe that Sheyi was such a terrible person he keeps reaching new, new lows in the house his hatred and and his disregard for women is well recorded i pray the jury get this guy to leave the house today we have had enough already sincerely we have had enough already enough is enough please Coming from Frankly Speaking with Glory, Elijah. Last night, up until the early hours of this morning, was a shameless, egotistical, and arrogant display of power drunkness, threat, insult, drugs, attempted bullying, and overall bad behavior, spies with a delusion of grandeur from an unbridled tongue. <laughs> she vessel, Gloria vessel. <laughs> Sheyi disgraced himself and his family name to the fullest, all in the name of I am an Awolowo. I am a pepep nation. The things he also said about his son growing up to mm, white money and Soma's daughter in a twisted explanation about girls with bad behavior was sickening. Sheyi need to be checked for real. Yes, that's why I said it's not only Ike that need this thing we are talking about. Sheyi needs that as well. That guy know well. He know well. Not everybody where they work out, they all right. It's not by speaking no Yibo. Okay. Coming from Aisha de la Cruz, after watching Sheyi for four weeks, I am genuinely worried for his wife. Can she breathe well? Does she take permission to exist from him? Is she even free to talk to her husband when she is not happy? How does he treat her when he is drunk? If you know this woman as a friend, reach out and talk to her. I hope her family can see the man they left their child to live with. Or more, sincerely, Anyways, Redful Heart said he might be scared of on his wife. Maybe she dominates him at home. He's just in our screen letting it out in the family or in the house. Do you think so? So the wife dominates her at home. That's why he would be reacting this way. See, guys, that lady needs to be checked up on. Sincerely. They need to check on her. Why am I even saying they need to check on her? Nobody should go marry. Many ladies right now, they are staying in a home, in an abusive home. They will just be maintaining. Oh, no, let me just stay. What would what would the world say if I divorce? What would the, many people are like that. So, some of the ladies who got married, they are going through a lot. 
sincerely they are going through a lot but nobody go know because they want to remain married if you're any lady going through a lot in your marriage and especially abusive one guys better leave it and hold your life for hand anyways guys i think i drop on waiting they supple how i don't know how biggie got this got some of the smart people on this show anyways thank you so much for watching okay make sure you have subscribed and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any gist at all here we say it as it is hot unfiltered truth we know here they are to the minds world you get the point okay i do not forget i love you because if i don't love you waiting again bye for now make sure you have a great sunday